So I shot, uh, I can't even think of how many rolls of Kodak Gold 200 over the last year plus. Bought it a few different times. It's a common, cheap, you know, consumer film. Well, you know, a little bit cheaper, not significantly cheaper. But uh, yeah, you know, this is on my Nikon F100. I was actually using this as a test roll when I first got the camera to make sure everything was working, you know, the exposure and everything. This was uh, indoors, the flash, obviously, SB600 with TTL. But, you know, it's a nice film. It, I always say, like, Kodak film. This is a really good photo. I like this one. It's, it's Even though it's sort of overexposed, or it's overexposed, it, I still like the way it came out. Very uh, sharp, the 50 millimeter 1.8D. This is the FM3A. Uh, I can't recall what lens. Probably the my 50 millimeter 1.8 AIS lens. But you know, it's a it's a nice film. I just was going through some photos, backing up some of my stuff, and thought I'd share some of this stuff with you guys. You seem to be appreciating some of these videos I've been posting of just kind of uh, images I've gotten. And uh, yeah, it's a nice film. You know, it has the film look. You know, saturated colors. There's not much to say about it. This is a nice film for just kind of snapshot, just a general anything. Then again, you know, it's 200 speeds, pretty sharp, so you could use it for portraits that you're more serious about. I actually just bought a bunch of uh, Color Plus 200 Kodak film, color negative film. I've never shot it before. I'm curious how it compares to Gold 200. I will find out soon enough. I like the Kodak colors. I mentioned liking the Pro Plus 2 Fujifilm, but you know, Kodak is uh, nice too. It's different, but it's nice. Seems like it does better skin tones. Uh, this is my Class S Fuji point and shoot. But yeah, the colors are nice. It, it takes, you know, good photos. Uh, it's fun film. It's cheap. It gets, gets it done has a good uh, color palette. I kind of feel like this stuff is more underrated. People, you know, always talk up Portra. And Portra 400 I do really like. It's a great film. Not as impressed with 400, or sorry, Portra 800 or 160. And in fact, Portra 160, I find kind of too clinical. It's probably very accurate color-wise, but it's sort of boring. It reminds me of digital in a way. It's sort of boring. But uh, this stuff has a nice color to it. Check out the reflection on the ground the shot yeah uh, I think you'll be pleased with it it's usually something available everywhere you know this is the kind of film gold used to be the stuff you'd find at your grocery store you know back when film was more commonplace but it's still available still nice uh, would be happy with it try it out if you haven't thanks thanks